So ICP is sitting at $12.68 right now. And ICP has been holding its support areas very well, even in terms of the drop areas when it created a double top here last time when we were talking about it. I shared the neckline here at 10.5 and I said that yes it is getting closer to it but if it doesn't break the neckline then this double top will become invalidated and it can go up and of course it didn't complete the double top, didn't break the neckline, didn't deliver on it. That's why we have necklines like we have a neckline here. It's a very ugly double bottom but it did deliver on it. So the deliverance is done on this. Now this neckline is going to be our support area and this is $12. So it's not far. It's not far from 12.6, which is the area where it is sitting right now. So it is going to help you in making decision because as long as ICP holds $12, we can expect it to go up. Now when we say up, what kind of targets we are talking about? We are talking about a target of $18 for ICP. We are not talking about any in-between smaller targets. If you hear sounds, it's my cat eating food. Uh, let me see if there is any in-between resistances that is going to stop ICP. Nope. In a larger story, it has already started delivering on the double bottom. There is a double bottom on a daily and then there is another one that is on a weekly but that is at $21. We'll talk about that once we get there. At this stage, the only thing I'm concerned about is this daily is double bottom. It has multiple levels of double bottom. Super awesome. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, our next stop is $18. That is for sure. After that, we can start talking about other stuff. Uh, ICP is not bearish whatsoever. Uh, the only problem is that uh, for it to continue with the super bullish case scenario, it needs to hold $12. If it loses $12, then we are back to square one. We are again talking about 10.5 as the support line. But if it continues to hold $12, our next area of target is $18 for it to go up and achieve it. Uh, and by the time you're watching this video, you will know which one happened. Did it lose $12 because it is sitting really close to its support? It's sitting at 12.6. Or did it continue to hold $12 and continued with its upward journey towards $18? The way things are, it is not very clear. I cannot give you a clear answer, unfortunately, just because of the fact that the month of December has just started and first five days of the month this cycle are always uh, weird that's generally when the market crashes it's always uh, between either the first of it or the fifth of it we saw fifth of july crash fifth of august crash we saw first of november crash it's always the first week that is generally horrible uh, but we will see how it goes with december just be careful don't uh, overexpose yourself to um, new trades, if you have already existing positions, you might want to milk it. Like if you are holding XRP, you might want to book some profits if you are so much in love with it. If you are not in love with it, you can just sell the hell out and move on to next coin. I mean, you have made enough money with it. And that's pretty much with ICP. There is nothing else to add. It is sitting on its support. It's a decision making point. If it continues to hold $12, uh, then it's a moonshot towards 18 Otherwise, we are talking about 10.5 again. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or I have touched on a topic uh, and I, you expect me to explain a bit more, I'll try my best to explain that to you in the comments. Leave a comment and I'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe because if you're not interacting with the video or if you're not subscribed, you're not going to see all the 10 videos that I make every day. You're going to miss out on it and I think you are educated enough to understand what to subscribe and what not to because if you want to miss out on it then why not uh, it's for your own good and you should know better what is good for you